Okay, so come across the diagonal at, um, what is that, K down there? No, H, right? Is that H? Okay, so now arms forward, way, look at me. Yeah, and then drop them down, but where they are. Yeah, there you go. And now give them a little rein and push with your seat and a little bit of right leg, just a little bit. And wiggle your fingers on the reins and really encourage them to drop that head. And the minute the head drops, push your hands forward a little bit more. And then if it comes up, wiggle the rein and like a little shake of the rein. And then drop. You've got to really like pull those reins out of your hands and really drop down. So you think about it, you get 10 points for just that move. Okay. okay. Don't run over Rosie. Yeah. Do it again. Go across the diagonal and see if you can't give him a little. Lacey, get over here. Come here right now. You're on lockdown. Come on. Uh oh. Look <laughs> at your face. So really, just see how long you can let your rein go, like almost the buckle if you can. Yeah, and stretch him down. Yeah, there you go. And then push with your seat to get him to move with a bigger stride. You want to see a nice overlapping stride from the back foot to the front foot, but not crooked. He's starting to get crooked. He'll always get a little crooked on that left hind because that's the one that he tends to short stride. Yeah, so your left leg may always have to kind of push that left hind leg forward. Go ahead and then gather him up and then do it again coming across the diagonal. So slow his walk down a little bit. Stop pushing. Yeah. Good. Good. And as soon as you turn the corner, stretch him into a nice, long, free walk. Yep, and it really encourages head down a lot more so that his nose is dragging on the ground. See how low you can get his head. You have to fiddle with your reins and then fiddle with your right leg a little bit. More. He's not even close to where he needs to be. Yeah. What he tends to want to do is he wants to curl instead of drop. And we've got to start, even if you have to scratch his neck, like, yeah, like give him a big scratch on his neck and we'll start. That's the one thing you're going to probably have to do is like big scratch on his neck, let his reins go long and let him drop way down. Okay. Are we allowed to do that in the chest? No, but we're going to work on that between now and then so that he will learn to release off of your hand releasing. Okay. okay. And then when you gather him back up, don't let him look like a pig and go like this. Okay. okay? No piggish. Okay, and into your trot. Good. Yep, keep working your ankles. Good. Go ahead and switch your whip to the right. A little more trot. And we're going to go rising because we can do rising in our dressage test now. And it will make him look a little bit better in his trot. Hands down. Smack him forward with that whip right now. Thank you. There we go. 20 meter circle at B, which you're about to approach right now. Use your rail rein. Bring your rail rein back towards your hip. There you go. Good. Good, Sydney. A little bit of counter bend and push him to the right. Just a little, that's enough. Good. We gotta remember with him, he's the opposite of Coco. You're gonna ask for a little bit of bend, he's gonna give you a ton of bend, okay? So with him, you're gonna have to soften your bend. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, which is good. It's a complete opposite horse for you and it'll really teach you. Don't run over Rosie. I don't know if you can see her. Okay, so another 20 meter circle at E. Try to hold your hands steady and see if he'll drop his head down into your fingers. Keep your fingers closed around the rein. And work your rail rein in your inside leg. And make that belly come up a little bit. Yeah. Good. Good, Sydney. Rail thumb out towards the rail a little bit. Yep. Keep working that rail hand and push him with your inside leg. Very nice. Better. Come down the center line at C. So it's a constant turn from the corner through C. And look at the middle of the arena. Look at the middle, look at the middle already looking. Good. 
Okay, he's drifting left, so hold him with your left leg and left hand. And you're gonna turn left when you get down here. Keep him as straight as you can. Work his nose down more. Atta girl, good. Hold the rail hand. So when you turn, you're gonna have to prompt him with your leg better. Can you not hear me? Okay. Switch your whip to the inside again. <laughs> Clock him forward. Right, bend him really hard left. You didn't ask him to canter. Keep bending him left. Tell him to trot and hold him with your rail hand also. Bend him left again. Bend him left. Bend him left. That a girl. Good. Keep bending him left. Yep. Same kind of concept I was telling you for the walk for Coco. It's the same for him when he wants to canter and he's not supposed to. Does that make sense? So a little shoulder in right now. A little baby shoulder in. Turn your shoulders in also. Yep. Good. Good. Drop your hands down just a little bit and straighten his head just a tiny bit and use your inside leg to prompt him forward. You have to keep doing it all in rising, though. You're like, but he's so smooth. I don't want to rise the truck. <laughs> get his head down. Really work it right now. Really get after him. Uh, right in the left or left, left, left. There you go. Good. And remember, when you do that, your leg has to prompt him forward. Good. Better. Your inside ring could be a notch shorter. Perfect. Right there. Good. Good. Do you feel like you're being able to maintain the speed all the way around, or is there still times where he feels like he wants to go faster? Sometimes he wants to go faster, sometimes he wants to stop. But your rhythm is perfect, okay? So make him stay at your rhythm. Yeah, keep your post slow and, and calm. Okay, at C, let's pick up the canner. So sitting trot now. Half halt, half halt canner. Don't worry about it. Keep cantering. Keep cantering. Keep cantering. Even on the wrong lead, just make him canter. Yep, make him canter on that counter canter. Don't let him change it. Oh, little shit. <laughs> okay, now make him change the whole thing. <laughs> the uh, half halt. No, no, no. Whenever you go to pick your canter back up again, I want you to do it prepared. So back to your trot. Over bend him left. Really bend him left. Bend him to the inside, Sydney. Keep your hands down, hands down, hands down. There you go. Just wait for it. Just wait. Wait. Keep him bent left. Keep him, and then really put your outside leg way back. There you go. Don't worry about the bump up in the butt. Now bend him left again. Yeah. I want you to really over bend him right now. And then guide him with your rail hand inward. Thumb up on the rail hand. Not a girl. Good. Yep. Rail hand's going to turn him in the circle. Circle. Rail hand's going to circle him. You're going to keep him bent left, but your rail hand and leg is going to bring him around. Not a girl. Very nice. Uh-huh. Inside leg a little more for the bend. Don't cross your inside hand over his neck. Good. Now really bend him left again. Get that butt on the fence. Hold the rail hand, thumb up. Yes, the minute your thumb comes up, he straightens out. The minute you flatten your thumb, he squishes his butt to the inside. Kiss him forward. Good. Good. Now, when you trot, I don't want to see him pull you forward. So squeeze your seat and lock your elbows. And wait for it. Yes, see the difference? But he's not trotting. <laughs> <laughs> but do you feel the difference when you do that? Yeah. That's what you have to do every time, okay? So that he doesn't prompt you over the top of him. <laughs> this probably all helps you a lot. Too, huh? I was going to say, you know what? The getting the head down and and you know right, left, right. Mm -hmm. Topper's always stalling, but you know what? I'm not pushing him forward with my legs mm -hmm. while I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a hold. One, 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 one on the other rein, you know, mm -hmm. and, and then hold and you switch it. Yeah. So it's not always a one, two. Yeah. Because if you do one, two all the time, then they start doing this with their head. Right. They so go you back. gotta 
hold and like work one rein and hold, work the other rein, but the leg has to prompt them forward. Okay. Good, diagonal across the arena. Straight diagonal. Our transitions were better yesterday, I will have to say that. Oh, good. I rode the dressage shuttle though. Because <laughs> I watched that video of the Western Town, all my legs are everywhere. <laughs> work his head right now, front inside leg, and bend them right. <clears throat> really work his head right now on the rail rein. So hold steady on the inside rein and work the rail rein and prompt him with your leg. And then the minute he drops his head, you hold everything still, but don't open your fingers. There, good. How does that feel right now? Yeah, now down again. You may have to correct him 500 times, okay? Good. The Pelham makes it easy because you've got that curb rein that forces his head there. Yeah. Now you're gonna have to, he's gonna have to work. Uh-huh. Good. Prompt them with your inside leg a little more. And really wiggle your ankle. Like, I want to see it moving. It doesn't mean speed up, though. Now work that head down. And at C, let's pick up the canter. So as you go around the corner, you're going to sit the trot into the canter. Half halt, half halt, two steps before. Leg way back. Nice! Give him a pat. That was perfect. Yeah, good. Rosie? Uh-uh. Hey, come over here. Sit down. Okay, outside rein. So think about it. Thumb up on the inside. Thumb up. Uh huh. Outside rein turns him. Inside leg holds him. Outside leg and rein turns him now. Inside leg holds him. Feel how he went nicely around that corner? Yeah. Okay. Same thing again. Kurt's delivering food everywhere. I know. I love him. He's <laughs> the nicest He's person like ever. <laughs> He's like so wound up. <laughs> Yes, see the difference? You're going to see on the video, he's in lovely frame coming around these corners now. Uh, okay, not, half halt, half halt, half halt, get his head down, get into the sitting trot. Half halt, sitting trot, sitting trot, bend him to the inside. Bend him to the inside, raise your hand towards your shoulder. Now counter. Good. I don't want you to push him in the rising trot into the counter. I want you to gather him back up and get him perfect again, okay? Your inside leg and um, inside rein bend him. Get his butt to the fence. There, more. Outside leg off of him for a stride and let him get his butt to the fence. Yeah, good girl. Down to the trot. So lock your elbows. Yes, but head down and trotting now. So the minute, the minute he trots, you have to open your fingers, okay? Because he's wanting to walk. So the minute you you lock your elbows is fine so he doesn't pull you forward. But you have to, the minute, the second he trots, you got to open your fingers and prompt him forward with your inside leg, okay? So counter again, really bend him right. Get his head down, bend him right. Uh-huh, canter. Really put that outside leg back, good. Outside rein immediately to balance him through the corner. Thumb up. And then when you get to C, we're going to trot again. You're going to trot though, okay? Not a walk. Okay, so turn your shoulders. Okay. And trotting, trotting, trotting. You got to start posting sooner. Hands down, quiet. Work his head a little bit to the inside. Inside leg really prompts. Work that ankle. Uh huh. Good. Head down. Work your rail hand. Get his head down while you keep bending him to the inside. Yeah, in a clock. Yeah, there you go. Again, inside ankle, hold the inside rein, work the wrist, there you go. Again, yep, inside leg. Get him looking to the inside. Yeah, I know, he's fighting with you. You're gonna have to keep doing it. Same thing, repetition, 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 okay? Okay, let's let him have a walk break. Let him just have a long rein. Good, Sydney. 